Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 6 of Direwolf20's Omni Factory series, where today I'm eating a whole bunch of food because I just got back from mining uh, the resources that I needed. So last episode, uh, we kind of wrapped up being ready to do uh, some more stuff with machines, and uh, I said I was going to make this stuff off camera, didn't I? Didn't I say I was going to make stuff off camera? I should have done that. I kind of didn't. I was excited to come back with resources, and that's what I did. I came back, I have resources. Hey, copper. Yay, a quest. Was gold also a quest? Yeah, it was. All right, look at that. Ye old awesomeness. So, hey, mine coins for me. Omni coins. Sorry. I'll remember what these things are called eventually. I decided to start storing them in their own chest. I'm pretty close to storing them in their own drawer. That's how many coins we got going on. Uh, so I just want to let you know I came back, uh, finished my mining expedition, right? Um, going to knock out, you know, quite a bit of um, resource work at this moment. I, what I do want to do is maybe move this setup. Um, so one of the wrenches that I'm supposed to have made here... Um, the, the Darm Stadium wrench. So basically I need a wrench made out of wrought iron, I assume is what I need, right? Did we ever make a wrench? We did. That ain't so bad, right? I can do that. Do we have one of those somewhere? I would imagine we do somewhere. Do I, oh, here's one, sweet. So can I use this to pick up that machine and like maybe not break it? Hmm. I guess that seems to have worked. I'm assuming I'm I'm learning a little bit about how these things work right now. Cool. So I know like in traditional industrial craft, right? Like if you were to, for example, that works, uh, pick up a machine by breaking it with a pick, it like destroys the machine altogether. And that <laughs> probably not something that we want to have happen, right? I, I think I'd like to skip that part of the uh, playthrough. It's the part where I destroy the machines I just spent an episode and a half making. Uh, so, you know, just saying, just saying that would probably be a good thing to skip. So let's, uh, now that we can eat again, make sure that's good. Yeah, so let's light up this area a little bit. That seems nice enough. How do I want to set up these machines, right? What's underneath me right now? A whole lot of darkness, that's what's underneath me right now. And I keep hearing spider sounds, contrary to the fact that I've got, you know, a thing for, for keeping things lit. Right? Like, can we discuss that that's a thing? Um, but what if now that I've got this up and running, right? So I don't have to worry too much about this stuff because Mega Torch in theory, but uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem to be behaving itself that well. Um, let's get our compressor set up. So did you retain your power buffer? I don't even know that I... The answer is no, he didn't retain his power buffer. All right, figured that out pretty quick, didn't we? So you are three layers of thickness. Good to know. Okay. So if I wanted to set up, how would I want to set this up? Do, do we want to like generate the power underneath and then conduit it up? Like that feels like a pretty cool idea to me. And I should have some basic energy conduits. Just a few, just to kind of get things behaving themselves. I've only got two of you. I assume that there's more somewhere. Probably would be in here, unless I put them in here. Four X conductive iron cables, cool. So we can do something like that, right? Um, what I'd like to do, and then that there, and then that there. I like that, I like the looks of that, right? So let's come up here. Can this wrench work on these? Oh, it can, hooray. That's exciting. Um, and then we can pop this dude down here. And then for now, we'll stick just this steam dynamo like that. 
Did he retain his water? He didn't. That's okay, though. And you can get back to producing water and filling that guy up. So he produces water pretty quickly. I'd like to throw some coal in there real quick. Or charcoal or something. Just to see how good of a job that water production does in comparison to how much it uses. So basically, do we have a net gain of water going on now or not? Oh, hey, tiny charcoal, you don't work? Well, today I learned. Five hundred and forty. So, like, are we gonna get a net gain of water here? That's what I want to know. Why so many spiders? All right, that seems like it's working pretty well. Shouldn't I have another battery though? I feel like I should. I think I had three batteries in there, or four batteries. There might be like spawners or something that could be the cause of the mega torch not working. So yeah, where's that other battery? Huh, that's interesting. Nope, there it is. Must have accidentally put it away at some point while I was messing around with stuff. That's cool though, right? So you'll produce power, you'll charge up your thing, and that looks good to me. All right. Dude, what's with all the bad dudes happening on over there? Well, to be fair, let's see, F3G, right? So you're technically in this chunk, which means you protect this chunk, but no others. So why don't I move you into this chunk? Right? So now you'll protect this one from mob spawns and that one over there and over there. And hopefully that'll be a little bit better for us. And it'll protect this chunk as well, clearly. All right, we'll see what happens. All right, so let's get back to making stuff, right? So um, we got some copper that I'm gonna immediately throw into this dude and start cooking into plates, right? Because I feel like copper wire is something we're gonna need a lot of, right? Um, so we needed two more effectively before we could make the extruder bit, right? So now I should be able to make another one of these, assuming I had a little bit more paper. Um, paper, oh, assuming I have a little bit more of this, glass panes. Boom, boom, vacuum tube. So what am I missing to make another one out of you? I thought I only needed one more. Not the end of the world, but still confusing to me. I thought I had set that all up. So are we cool now? Yeah, we are. Cool, awesome. Now, where did I put that other transistor doohickey? Yeah, cool, nice. All right, good, good, good. So that's two of those. So now I need um, electric motors. So let's make sure that anything I'm making over here that goes towards quests, I make sure it goes into my inventory, right? So I need uh, two LV motors, right? So that's you guys. Um, so I'm gonna unlock you and I'm gonna unlock, well, I kind of want most of these guys. Tin plates and wires I shouldn't need to do anymore going forward, right? Right. So if I want to get you, I do need the tin cables like that. And I need how many motors? Four of these. So I'm going to need six more tin cables. So let's get some tin, which I think I've got. I'm just going to get like 32 of you as well. That should be enough for now. This will be the last piece of copper. And then we get our first pieces of tin. Right, I don't think I have more tin cables laying around here. Yeah. So what I wouldn't mind doing is having this screwdriver thing, because I think that's what I need for the wires. Right, so I need you. I'm 
I'm getting the hang of this a little bit, right? So if I want to make an electric motor, I need one, two, three per electric motor. So I need 12 of these in total, right? What am I missing here? Oh, I need the file, not the screwdriver. They look similar. So I'll lock you down, right? And then I need this guy. Hey. Cool. Uh, I need this guy. So I need a little bit of redstone. And I need four of these. I'm gonna lock you in there as well. Okay. Now that's funny that you decided to do something silly like that. Um, you could give me more. Oh, what I do? Run out of cutters? That's not cool. Super close, trying to avoid making another cutter if I can, because in a moment I'll have what I need. Uh, you go in there. That's a little bit of interestingness. So, did you like. Okay, cool. So, how many of these did I say I needed? 16? That'll do. Okay. And then, nice. So now I just need a couple more tin cables. So I think I need six more of them. But they have to be covered tin cables. Cool. Getting the hang of it. Nice. Sweet. All right, so that's that, that, and I need just two more tin cables that are covered. Hooray, quest complete. That's cool. So are you good now? Do we have everything we need? Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Cool. So I got my electric motors claimed. LV wire mill, check. That's cool. Wow, look at all the stuff that unlocked from that. Okay. Cool. So that makes wire making a lot easier. I'll probably need a piston at some point, and that'll unlock LV compressor. Can I make another piston just real quick to complete the quest? I mean, I'm sure I'll need him sometime. Let's come back in a minute. I'm going to make that off camera real fast. So to make this, I need 10 cables. So I think now is as good a time as any to place down my new fancy cable maker. Sweet. So can I put you in there? Okay, that's cool. That makes wrought iron cables. Can I put 10 plates in there? I don't know if we need wrought iron cables. I put the wrong thing in. I meant to be putting 10 in. I'm going to find out, though. Oh, cool. Fine wrought iron cable. Cool. All right. So no plates can go in there, but 10 ingots, yes. And that makes two at a time, I believe. And that's pretty quick, actually. Look at the speed that that process is at. That's not bad at all uh, in terms of speed, right? Um, so that's super cool. I don't know what you are, but you're like locked in nothing. So that's comforting. But I should be able to do this so that I can make... Oh, I see. That's interesting. Huh. Can you make this now? So you've got three of those, you've got two of these, you've got two of these. Oh, you need another motor. Ah. Okay, hang on. I need to borrow that file thing again. four copper wires, so that should be pretty quick to do now, right? I like it. I like it a lot. I like that a lot. That is cool. I like that it's fast. You know Dyer, he likes things that are fast, right? So like, I would not be pleased if we had like a really slow operation going on here. So two of those, three of those, one of those. 
Where'd my two tin cables go? Did I use them? I probably did. I like things that are fast. Can't deny it. I might like reset this whole table setup just to just to get better. Okay, now I did have them. There we go. Cool. Quest complete. Hey, good. That went back to what it's supposed to be. All right. Quest complete. Nice. Claim those coins. Now, I need an LV compressor to quest complete, but I should be able to pull that off pretty easily because I'm thinking what I can do. I'm afraid to break it with that thing. Let me tell you. Can I break you with... Can I pick you up with this? It does not appear to be the case. I'm like super nervous, but there's your quest complete, right? Nice. That's cool, dude. Hey, an alloy smeltery is up next. Fluid solidifier is an option we can make. Macerator. Though I was already recommended, like, don't worry about macerators so much. Robot arms. Compacting drawers. Ooh, compacting drawers, you say. LV conveyor. Not as common a component, but useful in a number of critical machines. Cool. LV Mixer. So once I get the alloy smelter, I'll be able to get better materials because I have access to alloy smeltering, right? Fine copper wire. A wire mill with copper. Okay, cool. So basically I can do this. And that. Dude, with all the spider sounds still. Right? Right? Claim that quest reward. I feel like I should have another chest down here for all the different components. Didn't I have a chest? I did have a chest. Like, that's what I should do. I should have all these, not this, but like plates. Can go in there. So like, resources go at the beginning of the line. Crafted components can go at the end of the line, right? So like the tools, I don't have to worry too much about, but like things like the plates, like this stuff will stay in here because I, I haven't run into anything yet that 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 has needed those components otherwise, right? Um, but I want to get all my resources out of here if I can avoid it, right? So like you guys can all go in here. That's cool. And then you guys all in here. And this one's like not as necessary anymore. I mean, I think like the file and the screwdriver I still need, but I don't need... Well, I need some of these things, but not a lot of them. Saw I barely use. I don't even know what saw is for. It's not necessary because the regular crafting recipe works. There's other things I would assume. So do rubber sheets, can I make those in the compressor now? I totally can. How cool is that? So I can totally... So here's a question, right? What's sticky resin used for besides... So I still need it for some things, but like we can just throw this in the compressor and start getting, oh wow, look how fast that is. I love it, I love fast machines, thank you. I don't know if this is the default for Greg Tech. I feel like it's probably not. <laughs> I don't know, to be completely fair, I don't know if this is the default, but like I love how fast the machines are in this pack, right? And I need more fuel, hence I'm chopping down trees. Cool. I missed both times. That'll do for now. Um, cool, 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 cool. So you come with me. I could probably save myself a little bit of wood still. I should go on like a tree chopping spree and just go cut down everything. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, loving it. Lots of plastic now, right? Boom. Beautiful. All right. Uh, two of the most basic and important machines of our Greg Tech Adventures are complete. Let's see what's next. All right, so uh, I think new weapons are in order. So can I just do this? That was pretty nice. I like that. And then we can just void this thing. How good is this sword? He said as he decides to go investigate this creepy house with spider sounds all the time. Hey, buddy. Not bad. 
bad. So why are there so many dudes in this house when there shouldn't be that many dudes in this house? Am I right? I thought Megatorch, like, that's what you do. Isn't that what Megatorch does? Maybe it's... I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, you should be covering this house. Definitely. I saw a mob spawner. That's probably what it is. So Mega Torch is probably not blocking mob spawners. Oh boy, spiders run away. I'm assuming that's what it is. There's mob spawners in the floors. See? There you go. Now the question is, do I want to break it or not? Because, I mean, it's kind of nice having a skeleton mob spawner nearby. I wish I could find the uh, spider one, but we'll deal with that at some point. So Megatorch may be still behaving itself. I think we got spider spawners in the walls. That's our problem. Uh, so anyway, let's go back to work, though, because that would be super cool. Yeah, let's wait. Or you know what we could do is the Feral Flare Lantern? I need Glowstone, though. Right. So how do I get Glowstone? I mean, I, I know the answer is probably the Nether, right? But, uh, I don't think going to the Nether is quite as easy as it's supposed to be. Um, I talked to the pack author a little bit when I was, uh, deciding whether or not to play this pack. He said the Nether portal still works, but it's not the intended way to get to the Nether. Um, so I can do it if I want, but it's kind of cheesing it a little bit. Um, if I really want to do things properly, I need Nether cake. How tricky would that be to get? Um, not the end of the world? I definitely need some obsidian and some soul sand, which needs an atomic reconstructor. Um, netherrack dust, huh? There's gotta be a better way to get netherrack dust. Pulverizing that, or tiny piles, come from ore washing crushed nether quartz ore. Purified nether quartz or impure pile of nether quartz dust. Okay. And I think we have some nether quartz dust, don't we? I think there's some um, nether quartz ore. Cool. So, like, technically, we can take this stuff and we can get nether rack dust from that. Okay, good to know. So, I think that's the way you're supposed to get to the nether in here, but a, a regular obsidian portal thing might still work. I don't know. We'll see. Um, what's my quests got for me now? So the mixer, I think alloy smelter would be nice. I think alloy smelter would be really nice to have. Because let me tell you guys what I discovered. Uh, I'm going to add basic alloy smelter to the list. That looks doable. Primitive circuit, machine hole, tin cable, 4x copper wire. Seems very, very doable, right? Um, sweet. So let me tell you guys why I want to do this. I was looking at um, item uh, conduits. And we need pulsating iron wire to make item conduits, which needs pulsating iron ingots, which in an alloy smeltery is iron plus pulsating dust. You might think that this comes from an enderman. You'd be wrong. Pulsating iron dust is the smelted version of uranite dust, which you get from smelting uranite ore, which I believe I have some of. I do. A little bit, and I know where there's more, because I found a uranite vein, and I ignored it because I figured I don't need uranium just yet. But it's really close, and it's easy to get. Um, so, 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 long story short, if I got an alloy smeltery, it would probably unlock a lot for me, uh, which would be cool. Yay, resources. And um, in addition, it would be super awesome to be able to alloy smelt other resources too, like bronze and all that stuff, right? So I think alloy smeltery is definitely like the uh, the next thing to make, right? Um, so for this, uh, we need some tin cables, right? So I think we should have in here, we've got some plates, right? Um, do we not have any more cables? I thought I made a bunch of cables just a minute ago. Did I use them all already? 
That's a dire thing to do, isn't it? Right? Let's get like 16 of you and 16 of you and get that processing and we'll be right back. And while I'm uh, waiting for that to process, I want to go find that spider spawner. Well, I lit up an area down there. Time will tell if it was successful, right? Um, so hopefully now, hopefully now, things can be a little bit easier. What I might even do is move some of those machines into here. So this could be like my crafting room. Like we could have all the machines here. That almost seems like a really good idea, doesn't it? I might do that, right? Um, and then we'll just, you know, remake our work tables because a lot of the things that the work tables were designed to do are no longer super necessary, right? So maybe I'll do that. Let's, let's, let's do that. Does that sound like a smart move on my part? I feel like it's probably smart. I might be wrong. Make sure this goes in the right spot here. And uh, that's cool. Okay, nice. Yeah, I think that's not a bad idea. I wish I had that like pick up and move the, the things thing, but that eh, should be fine. Let's put all this stuff in here for now. I should have like a tools chest or something. I guess I could. I kind of want to keep an eye on this or keep a handle on that because things, but that's, that's fine, right? Yeah, I like this. You can go in there for now. Yeah, not terrible, not terrible. We'll probably want to rearrange it, but I'm just kind of getting my head wrapped around how all these different things work, right? Like all the different things that I need resources and all that, right? Is resin a resource? Sure, why not? Right, and then what I can do is move all this stuff over to here. Cool? Okay. So, how about the first one you know what else I would like to have is a sign that tells me what these things do. So the first machine is going to be, the first machine is going to be machine blocks. So that's your job, right? Your job is to make machine blocks for me, right? So I need you to be able to make LV machine holes and LV machine casings tin cables, wrought iron plates. So I need your wrench to live in there for the moment, right? Um, so you need some wrought iron plates. Do we have any wrought iron handy? We have a little bit, but we're gonna make more. And that opens up this room a little bit nicely. Yeah, I like that. I like it a lot, actually. Let's get, I mean, I technically only need 16. But I'm going to get twice as much as I need. That should be enough for now. So throw eight in there. You can be put away, right? So that's what your job is going to be. We also need the ten cables. So I need some rubber in there. I want to keep in stock a majority of the things that I need to make this stuff, right? So ten cables. We want our copper cables because I'm going to need that in a minute as well. This guy could be a little bit faster, but he's still pretty good. He's still pretty good. I got not a lot of complaints about his speed. Cool. So I don't need to make this. I do need to make the tin cables though. Right, so I want you to know how to make tin cables. So lock that. I want you to make this. So lock that. And then I want you to make this. So I need three more wrought iron plates. Fair enough. I knew I needed extras. I thought I lit you guys up enough in there. Bad direwolf. I'll get that area lit up well enough. 
So there's there's the skeleton spawner. I'm debating whether I want to break it or not. Because, I mean, having a skeleton spawner ain't the end of the world. Right? And then lock that dude down. So that's your machine crafting for machine holes. Right? So doot, doot, doot. So now to make this, we need those primitive circuits again. Right? Um, so, like, let's get... So this will be my primitive circuit maker. Primitive circuits. Cool. So everything to make a primitive circuit. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So we're going to also want some rubber sheets in here. Um, these guys are all going to go into here. Not you though. Um, and let's let's just throw glass in here because this is going to be all the things for a primitive circuit, right? Ideally, I want to have it so that like I can start from the basis of materials. Okay, so there's my other wrought iron dudes. So we need them for a primitive circuit. Um, resistors needs copper wires, right? Uh, did I just have copper wires? I did. So you guys can hang out in there for tin wires, right? Um, I need that coal and that paper. Cool. So now we've got the resistor. Check. Uh, the coated circuit board, which needs oak wood slabs, which I can totally make. And then the sticky resin, which I call the resource, so it should be some in here. Write that down. Write that down. Remember. Remember. Cool. Um, Remember you. So what am I missing? The red alloy cables. So do we have any more red alloy? Red alloy. I think for that we needed uh, red alloy dust, which is copper. Okay, copper. So let's get like four of you and 16 of you for now. Does that seem fair? And I need this guy to mash this up, right? And then we do that. And then we do the red alley wiring, and that's cool. So you smelt it up. Because in order to make this, I need six of these ultimately. So I should be making more. But don't I get two of these per, so I should be cool? Yes, beautiful. Good enough. Right, so lock that down. And now make your resistor. Sweet. All right, uh, so that ain't bad at all. Not at all. I just need one more of you. I should be being a little bit more or less conservative with this stuff, but it's all good. All right. So how about we do this? Let's wrap up the episode here because it's getting close to wrapping up point. We'll come back next time and uh, I should be able to make my basic alloy smelter pretty much either between episodes or at the very beginning of the next one. And then we'll branch out further and see what other stuff is available for us uh, coming up in the uh, next few episodes. So for now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We'll come back next time. All right, guys, take it easy.